when I first started my career as a film photography artist. I also had that mentality of like, am I gonna make it as an artist? Or like, will I make money? I feel like we all do. And when they introduced me to the dark room and the photo lab, I fell in love and I was like, this is what I wanna do. And I just kind of went for it and see where it'll take me. And I'm lucky that it took me to the Trex exhibition and the Exposure exhibition. <laughs> to me, documentary photography is just really about sharing stories with people who might not be familiar with them in their day-to-day -day lives. They might have a there might be a disconnect between the story that you're sharing and, and people's lived, lived lives. I think the driving factor in why I do what I do is just a deep curiosity and desire to share stories and explore. When you go see treks, this trip represents the second time I went up to the, the Arctic. This trip was really about the people who live on the boat, who travel for this, for work. The personal cost that it has on them, um, and that really has been a theme throughout a lot of my work, is the personal cost on people. In relation to economic development and sort of the toll that that has on the environment and on, on the people themselves who are, who are exploiting it. Hi, my name is Nahani. I'm a, a Métis artist from Banff, Alberta. I'm a film photographer and I'm part of the Habituate Acclimate Tracks exhibition. Hi, I'm Liam. I'm an Edmonton-based documentary photographer and I'm also part of the Habituate Acclimate Tracks exhibition. I had the opportunity to go up to the Arctic um, and visit my mom, who is a teacher up there. Oh, cool. So when I was up there, I kind of learned about how everything gets shipped up every year. Mm -hmm. um, insulation, building materials, trucks, yeah. fuel for the, for the communities, they're all reliant on um, the sea lift. So how long were you on the boat for? Oh, eight weeks. Eight weeks? Oh my goodness. I really tried to step away from like making art about Banff, but it's my home, it's like where I grew up. In 2016, I was working at Parks Canada and Two Jack Main Campground. There's so many people there, and like it being a wildlife corridor, wolves would go in and out. Like, this is how they would get to one side of the valley from the other. And so, when people left their food out in the campground, the wolf would obviously eat it. And then she just became not scared of humans, which Parks Canada saw as a threat. But instead of like closing down the campground, they uh, decided to put the wolf down. So the mother was put down, and then the six wolf pups died after that without a mother. Parks Canada's mandate is to protect the wildlife, but this is not how I imagine protecting the wildlife. My inspiration for Loop 14 was this human wildlife conflict um, within the Bow Valley, within the park, within all of national parks in Canada. and just this resort town where people come, relax, and forget about it. But for me, it's just like, there's a lot more line underneath it. Um, so I want people to be very aware of their surroundings, not just like when they're in a national park, but like everywhere. This isn't just a human's home. This is like animal's home as well. Like everything from like living in a city to birds, to like living in a national park, to the bears, the elk, um, the wolves. Just recognize where you are.